Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about Azure Data Lake Storage Generation 2. So let's get into the video. In the module 1 we talked about ADLS Gen 2 that is Data Lake Storage Generation 2 service that Microsoft provides us to create a Hadoop compatible file system for our big data analytical workloads. So it is nothing but an HCFS in the cloud, Hadoop compatible file system in cloud. So in order to do big data analytics, you need a file system. Without a file system, we cannot do big data analytics because the typical MapReduce programs operate on your file systems, Hadoop distributed file systems. So here we have something called as ADLS Generation 2, which is Azure Data Lake Storage Generation 2, which you simply put is a Hadoop compatible file system in the Azure cloud. What are the features that we are interested in, right? What we are interested in is it provides us two most important features and what are they? It provides us a true HNS, right? True HNS. What do you mean by that? True hierarchical namespace. And what is a na hierarchical namespace? Now the name hierarchical namespace is quite fancy. It simply means a file system. Right, it provides us a file system. And what do you mean by file system? What you mean by file system is that you have a proper mechanism of developing your storage in the form of hierarchy. So you will have the root file system, which is also called as container. Right, so this is called as a root file system. And then you will have something called as your directories. Right, you have directories. And then you have subdirectories under the directories. Subdirectories under the directories. And then you have folders, right? Correct. Then you have the folders. And then you eventually have the files. That is your data storage. This is called as a hierarchical namespace. HNS, hierarchical namespace. So this is nothing but a file system. So a data lake provides us a file system, something like this. The advantage of it would be that if I want to read a particular folder, I can give the path of that folder. Right, so if I want to say that I want to read this folder, then I can give this as the path of all the data under that folder, right? And the path is a true path, right? It's not a virtual path, it's a true path. So our big data workload, the big data script will be able to go to that very folder and read the data, write the data, overwrite, update, merge, whatever you want to do, would be able to do in that folder. So it provides us a true HNS, a true hierarchical namespace. What is the second feature that it provides us? It provides us another feature that we are interested in that is called as security feature, right? Security of the lake and that is called as POSIX ACLs, Portable Operating System Compliant, ACL, Access Control List, Access Control List. Now, what is an access control list? An access control list is a simple thing. You want to give read, write, and execute permissions at the folder and file levels, at folder and file levels. So it is analogous to your Linux, right? If you have used Linux a little bit, you know you have commands like chmod and chown. Using those commands, you can do all this access control on the folder level to the super user and all that RWX permissions, right? You create masks, remember? 4556777777 masking. So it is the security uh, feature that we can use uh, the ADLS Gen 2 for that. 
So we need an HDFS in a cloud for our big data analytical workloads big data workloads and this basically the ADLS Gen2 service allows us to deploy a HCFS in the cloud. So we need it. Without it, we cannot, right? So very beautiful service, ADLS Gen2, and we can use it for that purpose. You need to remember certain programmatic aspects about it, right? So what are the programmatic things that we need to remember about it? Programmatic, programmatic means that whenever you want to write your code, right you will have to remember those things now ADLS gen 2 comes with two endpoints the first endpoint is called as dot blob dot core dot windows dot windows dot net and the second endpoint that it comes with is dot DFS which stands for distributed file system dot core dot windows dot net these are the two endpoints this endpoint is not used for big data analytical workloads right whereas this is used for big data analytical workloads all right so i will simply write here big data so whenever you will design some kind of a solution you will use this dot dfs dot co dot windows dot net you need to also remember the driver this is used along with a programmatic driver called as W A S B S and this is used with a driver called as A B F S S right so it is used with that driver and this is called as uh, let me just write the full form windows Azure storage blobs secure secure means over SSL secure and this is Azure blobs file system secure or you can say over SSL that is the thing so we will typically use obviously you guessed it right we will use this one right for writing our scripts and writing our programs we're going to be using this okay so guys if you liked our video then do give us a thumbs up but if you really want to learn more about the particular topic we discussed then we have something really special for you we have our free class on microsoft azure data engine certification that is dp203 along with some question and answers where we'll be discussing about why is everyone working on data, importance of some Azure services you should learn, and many more things. So for that, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure DE02. And after that, you'll be seeing a screen like this. Just click on book your free seat now. Select your event date whenever you're available. Reserve your spot by adding your name, your email address, and your phone number. And you'll be getting all the updates via mail. You'll be seeing this kind of window on extreme right. So you can save this link, add to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep hustling and take care.